I know how it goes. For everybody except us. We the only people that can expect to take it on the cheek and take it on the other cheek and then walk it off. Let's get to it. So I'm pretty sure you guys know about Ryan Garcia already and know about his little racist rant that he went on yesterday. I didn't make a video about it because I was enjoying my family on the 4th of July. But let's talk about it. Am I offended by what Ryan Garcia said? Truthfully, it's not offensive to me, but it's very disrespectful. And I understand there are people out there who's talking about, bro, why are you guys so fragile? Bro, why are you guys so weak? Bro, why does that word get to you? Bro, that word doesn't define me. You're right, it doesn't. But words do have power. Even the Bible speaks about it. They have power to start an actual revolution. People don't understand the power of words. And don't try to act like there is just black people who have looked at words and say, oh man, I don't like that disrespect. Every other demographic got something that you can't say because they get offended or feel disrespected. Don't try to sit here and try to act like words don't matter. I'm mainly talking to you content creators now. You a fucking joke. And all the ones who still trying to deride Ryan Garcia. Because these are the same people when it's something that they don't like, oh, they got something to say about it then. Ryan Garcia was all in Clarissa Shields DMs, disrespecting her. But if it was their sister, oh, then they would have something to say. If it was their mom, then they would have something to say. To this day! If it was their daughter, then they would have something to say. Or how about this? They would definitely have something to say if that was Tank versus Sinessa Estrada. Or if that was Tamis Crawford going at Amanda Serrano. To this day! Yeah. I'm more than positive that those same content creators would be coming at Tamis Crawford or be coming at Tank Davis if they were to disrespect Amanda Serrano or Sinessa Estrada like that. But that's another subject. Don't talk to me about people being fragile and about people being sensitive. Don't talk to me about any of that. Because I know grown men right now who are offended over fictional characters. I know grown men right now who is offended because Trump said they are not sending their best. They're sending the criminals. They was offended by that. Felt disrespected. Here's the crazy part. When Trump said that, that wasn't even a racial slur. And they're trying to call black people fragile because they literally felt disrespected from a racial slur. Y'all have really lost your own mind, haven't you? Especially these content creators. Especially the ones who claim to be a Christian. Especially the ones who claim to be a follower of Christ. Let me tell you something. Even the Bible speaks about idle words, useless words, and careless words that comes out of your mouth. For some of you guys who don't know, Jesus said in Matthew 12 and 35, a good person produces good things from the treasury of a good heart, and an evil person produces evil things from the treasury of an evil heart. 36 says, and I tell you this, you must give an account on judgment day for every idle word you speak. 37 says, the words you say will either acquit you or condemn you. So what is Jesus talking about right there? He's letting you know that words do matter. So I ain't trying to hear these people, especially if you claim to be a good person, if you claim to be holy, if you claim to be a follower of Christ, but you're trying to make it seem like words don't matter. Man, y'all know what y'all can do. Shut up. Because I get tired of these people who try to use Jesus name for clout. That's really what they just be doing. And I'm going to tell you something else, too. I don't think black people got offended by him saying the N word with the A. I think they started talking about when he said the N word with the ER, but he also said I'm anti-black. He also said black people eat babies. So it wasn't just the N word. It was like a whole little racist rant. And that's why I always say I never had a problem with Ryan Garcia. I just really just never could follow him because of his fruit. I mean, he claims to be a Christ follower and claims to have a relationship with Jesus. But the Bible say a righteous man falls seven times, but he gets back up. But what is getting back up? Getting back up is when you make a mistake saying, okay, Lord, I'm asking for your forgiveness. I sinned against you. And go to your fellow man and say, hey, I apologize for what I've done or what I've said. And I'll take full responsibility and accountability. Sorry about that. A righteous man don't say this. Uh, yeah, I don't care. Whatever. I ain't apologizing. Right now, Ryan Garcia is starting to look to me like one of those false prophets, false teachers that the Bible is speaking of. 
He also seems to be just trolling when it comes to this racist stuff. But when it comes to stuff like that, you really can't troll about it. I think nobody's going to forget about it. And it also seems that he got a lot of deriding fans and content creator fans who trying to justify him being racist. I also have to acknowledge the fact that Ryan Garcia, he just needs help. His parents came out and said that he needed help. People saying that we can't use that for an excuse. Maybe we can't. But you can't ignore the fact that he does need help. I don't know if it's substance abuse or if it's mental health or what. And a lot of people are going to like when I say this. But when a person needs help, we should be there to help that person. And we should be there to support that person. But when that person has rejected the help, according to his parents and according to the WBC, that's when we have to leave them on our own and let them find our own way. But if you're being supporting because he does need help, then you should keep that same energy when there's other fighters who have a history of mental issues or substance abuse, such as Jamal Charlo. Keep the same energy. Show the same support.